There's some talent to keep an eye on over at New Haven, but Homestead's future D1 players look to prove themselves. The Spartans visiting the Bulldogs. Spartans search for a fifth straight W. And good news for Homestead tonight, it's raining threes. This one good for Goody. On the other end, Jakar Williams sneaks it in to Thomas Latham. The USF commit adds two for the Bulldogs. But like I said, threes falling from the sky. Goody again. This time from the wing, he scores 20. Homestead rolls 86 to 56. Naylon Thompson geared up for a special night. Lures facing Canterbury without Will Shank. He's out with what appears to be a left hand injury. Lures begins the game with stifling defense. Johnny Sewell steals the rock and scores. Lures up 11 to 0 to start, but the Cavaliers cut into that lead. Will Russell goes right to the rack for two. Lures up by six now. Naylon Thompson has no worries tonight. He sets up on the wing, lets it fly, and he goes down in program history, reaching his 1,000th point. Thompson shares a special moment with his team and ends up finishing with 25 points. Bishop Lures wins their first game of the year, 63-57. to The battle of two unbeaten teams on Saturday night. Garrett 10-0 so far this year, while Norwell looks for their seventh straight win. Out to Ossian for this 3A showdown. The fifth best team against number two. Maya Shelton starts it off, shoots from downtown. She's got it, three of her nine points. But Garrett responds, Bailey Kelham. She'll go baseline to finish up and in off the glass. She scores a team high 18. But the star of the night, Kaylee Felling. She stops and pops. The friendly roll will help this one fall. Felling scores 22 points. Norwell wins in overtime, 60-54. to The Spartans hit their stride on Friday night against Bishop Dwenger. Now look to quiet an NEA contender in Angola. Hornets eyed their fourth straight win, but it's Homestead who starts us off. Grace Sullivan and finds Maggie Kinsley under the hoop. The easy lay-in good for two. Angola answers from outside. It's Lauren Leach who decides to drain it from downtown. The Spartans now seeing some separation on the scoreboard when Molly Stock adds her two cents. She'll go coast to coast. Homestead wins 57 to 29. 